And good afternoon and welcome to Farmington. I'm Mark Bixler as the Lewistown Indians getting set to take on the Farmington Farmers in this Prairie Land Conference baseball matchup. And Bixler Video Productions, glad to be with you here this afternoon. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with giving the batting order and where the position players will be. Back to Farmington in just a moment. Helping underwrite this event, Spooner Animal Clinic, compassionate care when it's needed most. CD Country 107.9, your home in the country. Sedgwick Funeral Homes with locations in Canton, Farmington, and Bartonville. Bank of Farmington with locations in Farmington and in Canton. By hy V, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main Street in Canton. By Remax Unlimited, Susie McMillan, your agent. Are you looking to buy or sell? Contact Susie. By Wesley United Methodist Church in Canton to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions. For more information on underwriting, contact us. And we welcome you back. A busy afternoon here in Farmington as there's a track meet going on as well in addition to this baseball game. I'm Mark Bixler. Glad to be with you. Let's run down the batting order first for the visitors from Lewistown. Leading off playing second base will be Connor Wise. Bryce Hardesty will be batting second. He'll play third base. Trenton Chastine, the shortstop, will be batting third. Hunter Rhodes in the cleanup spot will catch. Evan Daly, the pitcher. Batting fifth, Justin Burtis, the right fielder, will bat six. Batting seventh is Jesse May, the center fielder. Taylor Trone, the left fielder, will be batting eighth. And batting ninth will be the designated hitter, Taylor Schubert. Batting fourth, first baseman, Ethan Mikulich. Lewistown enters tonight's game 3-11. and 11. They are 2-1 and one in the Prairie Land. For the Farmington Farmers, Leading off will be Dakota Traver playing right field. Jacob Roshotsky, the second baseman, bat second. Cade Lansford will be playing center field, batting third. Trey Swearingen in the shortstop, bats cleanup. Blake Matson will catch. He'll bat fifth. Batting sixth will be third baseman, Tanner Crow. Reed Berry will be playing first base, batting seventh. Jake Settles, the left fielder, bats eighth. And Dylan Hayden, the pitcher, will be batting ninth. So for Lewistown. Pitching, as we said, will be Evan Daly catching Hunter Roberts at first base. Ethan Mikulich, second base. It will be Connor Wise at shortstop Trenton Chasteen. Bryce Hardesty will play third. And around the outfield in left field, Taylor Trone, center field Jesse May, and Justin Burtis will play right field. For Farmington, pitching Dylan Hayden catching Blake Matson. At first base, it will be Reed Berry. Second base, Jacob Roshotsky. At shortstop, Trey Swearingen. Third base, uh, third base, Tanner Crow. And around the outfield, left field, Jake Settles. Center field, Cade Lansford. And right field, Dakota Traver. Back to Farmington with the start of this one in just a moment. Helping underwrite this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. By Napa Automotive Parts of Canton, located on North 1st Avenue in Canton. By Innovations Design Academy, located on East Locust Street in Canton. By the voice of Fulton County, AM 1560 WBYS and 93.7 FM. By Oaks Hines Funeral Home, with locations in Canton and in Elmwood. By Spoonerver Home Health, bridging the gap in health care. By Wesley United Methodist Church in Canton, to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, contact us if you'd like a DVD of any of the games or events we've taped. We welcome you back to Farmington, a 3-0 lead for the Farmers over Lewistown. And it'll be 
five, six, and seven for Lewistown. That's Daly, Burtis, and May. Hayden delivers that a bit high, and it's a 1-0 count. Delivery is a swing and a miss. That evens it up at one and one. Armington three runs on three hits. Two and one. Lewistown did commit a couple of errors. That ball's hit up the middle, and that is going to be a base hit. So Evan Daly. It's the leadoff single. Justin Burtis batting from the left side. Steps in. Dylan Hayden. On the mound, delivers, and that is taken high and away. And it's a 1-0 count. Evan Daly standing at first for Lewistown. They trail three to nothing. That is hit up the middle, high bounce. They'll get the lead runner, and that's it. Well, Swearingen had trouble getting it out of his glove. It'll go six to four, one out. Curtis reaches on the fielder's choice. And the throw to first, and Burtis back in safely. Just on the way, and that is a swing and a miss. It's an 0 1 count on Jesse May. back and it's now 0 and 2. Taylor Trone awaits on deck. Aiden from the stretch delivers, misses high. A ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss. May a strikeout victim at the second strikeout by Hayden. So two away. And Taylor Troon will step in. Batting from the left side. He swings and misses. And he's behind 0 and 1. Three to nothing. Farmington with the lead. Top of the second. That ball is scooped up by Roshotsky and he'll fire to Reed Berry. So thrown out four to three. And that ends the top half of the second for Lewistown after an inning and a half. It's still Farmington three, Lewistown nothing. Helping underwrite this event, Spooniver Animal Clinic, compassionate care when it's needed most. CD Country 107.9, your home in the country. Sedgwick Funeral Homes with locations in Canton, Farmington, and Bartonville. Bank of Farmington with locations in Farmington and in Canton. By hy V, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main Street in Canton. By Remax Unlimited, Susie McMillan, your agent. Are you looking to buy or sell? Contact Susie. By Wesley United Methodist Church in Canton to know Christ and make him known. 
and by M. Bixler Video Productions. For more information on underwriting, contact us. Spot on the second coming up with Farmington still leading this, three to nothing. Mark Bixler, M. Bixler Video Productions, glad to be with you here on Canton Public Access TV as well as Farmington Community Access TV, Canton CPAT on Comcast. FCAT is on Mediacom and, of course, on our YouTube channel. Reed Berry takes that high, and it's a 1 0 count. And if you want to look for how you can find our YouTube channel, just type in Mark, that's M A R K, and Bixler is the last name, B is in boy, I X L E R. Look for a gentleman in a suit. Click on that profile, and that will take you to page you can watch these on on YouTube. We do post them on our M. Bixler Video Productions Illinois page on Facebook as well. And if you haven't liked our page, feel free to do so. And that ball is hit into right field and that will be a base hit. Reed Berry with the leadoff single. As Jake settles at bat now for Farmington. And the attempted bunt, but called a strike and it's into the outfield. And heading to third is Barry. They'll get the stolen base and then. And here. We're going to say E6. Actually, E4. The second baseman should have covered that, but didn't notice who did actually. Evan Daly pitching for his second inning. That's a swing and a miss. It was behind in the count, 0 and 2. Pitcher Dylan Hayden due up next. Daly sets, delivers. That's a swing and a miss. So one away. And Dylan Hayden at bat now for Farmington. Farmers already up three to nothing, threatening with a run, another run here. He's standing 90 feet away at third base. Daly sets, delivers, swing and a miss. Hayden falls behind 0 and 1. up this time delivers and that is a ground ball slow roller and I'll tell you what he beat it out and the base hit and Barry scores and the lead is now four at four to nothing A rocket into right field, and that is going to get past Burtis, looking right into the sun. So with one out, put runners at second and third. Traver, which is E9. One away. Jacob Groshopsky at bat. Base hit here. Groshopsky does what he did the last time. He'll drive a couple runs in, and that ball's hit into center field. 
That will be caught. Tagging and heading home. Is Dylan Hayden. So Rosatsky out F8 for out number two. Traver stays put. Hayden Lansford, he's one for one, a base hit last inning. Did come around to score as well. Bailey delivers and that misses. Bounces to the plate. Lansford ahead in the count against Daly, 1 0. Mark Bixler, M. Bixler Video Productions. Glad to be with you here for this Prairie Land Conference game. This is high. It's a 2 0 count. Out of play, and the count now two and one. Well, as we said, Lansford is one for one. He had a base hit and came around to score. <laughs> Daly delivers, misses a bit low, and the count is three and one. 5-0, Farmington with the lead. Bottom of the second. Two away. That misses ball four. So that puts runners at first and second now for Farmington as Trey Swearingen will step in the batter's box. Three fifteen down the lines and three forty five to dead center. Daly delivers. That is popped on the infield as Connor Wise there to take it in. Swearingen out F four for out number three. That ends the second. As they get two hits, two runs on two hits. They leave a couple on base. After two complete, it's now Farmington five. Lewistown nothing. Helping underwrite this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North Fifth Avenue in Canton. By Napa Automotive Parts of Canton, located on North First Avenue in Canton. By Innovations Design Academy, located on East Locust Street in Canton. By the Voice of Fulton County, AM 1560 WBYS and 93.7 FM. By Oaks Hines Funeral Home, with locations in Canton and in Elmwood. By Spoonerver Home Health, bridging the gap in health care. By Wesley United Methodist Church in Canton, to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, contact us if you'd like a DVD of any of the games or events we've taped. Top of the third, Farmington with the 5 nothing lead. Lewistown at bat and leading off as Taylor Schubert takes a strike and it's an 0-1 count. Hayden delivers Schubert down in the count 0-1. Schubert, the DH batting for Ethan Mikulich, the first baseman for Lewistown. 0-2 on the way, and that misses low. Ball and two strikes. Yeah. 
swing and a miss. And the ball is dropped, and it'll be a strikeout, a K. Two to three. Schubert out. So one away as we swing to the top of the order. Connor Wise steps in. He's 0 for 1, grounded out to the shortstop. Swing and a miss. 0-1 is the count. That ball's hit into left field. Making the catch as Jake settles as Wise out F7 if you're scoring with us. Two away. Bryce Hardesty at bat now. So Hayden love to get them out one two three but we started out that way in the first but so they do have two hits and that is a swing and a miss and it's even now at one and one top of the third Nothing. Farmington leading this. He delivers, and that has popped up. Will there be enough room? No. Is it it's just behind the Farmington dugout? So a ball and two strikes. Trenton Chastine awaiting. In the batter's box for Lewistown, hoping for a chance to bat. That ball's hit into right center field. That is going to drop. So Hardesty with that base hit. Two out single. Trenton Chastain at bat. He had a two-out single back in the first. Artist, he slides back in safely. Top of the third, five nothing, and that misses. It's a 1-0 count on Chastain. Chastain is, he's one for one. This is high. 2-0 is the count. Hunter Roberts awaiting on deck. That's a swing and a miss. And it's 2-1. Side and it's a 3-1 count. That ball's hit into left field and that's given a ride. And that is going to get all the way to the fence. Hardesty will score. that double and the RBI. <laughs> Hunter 
Hunter Roberts. That body grounded out along the first base line in his last trip, and that has taken a strike. So Lewistown gets on the scoreboard here in the top of the third. Back-to-back -back hits by Bryce Hardesty and Trenton Chasteen. That's lifted, hit in two left center. And there to make the catch is Cade Lansford. F8, Hunter Roberts is out. That ends the inning, but one run on two hits. They leave one stranded after two and a half. It's now Farmington five, Lewistown one. Helping underwrite this event, Spooniver Animal Clinic. Compassionate care when it's needed most. CD Country 107.9, your home in the country. Sedgwick Funeral Homes with locations in Canton, Farmington, and Bartonville. Bank of Farmington with locations in Farmington and in Canton. By hy V, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main Street in Canton. By Remax Unlimited, Susie McMillan, your agent. Are you looking to buy or sell? Contact Susie. By Wesley United Methodist Church in Canton to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions. For more information on underwriting, contact us. Set for the bottom of the third, Farmington leading it 5-1 to one over Lewistown. Mark Bixler and Bixler Video Productions as we're glad to be with you for this Prairie Land Conference matchup. Evan Daly beginning his third inning of work for Lewistown. Blake Matson as that is lifted into center field. And the catch is made, so one away. F8, Matson out, Tanner Crow. We said they had three runs on three hits in the first. That should be three runs on four hits. That's a foul ball. And Crow down in the count 0-2 oh to Daly. Daly delivers. This is low and away. And it's a one and two count. Reed Berry due up next for the Farmers. That ball's it into right center field. That is a gapper. And it one hops the fence. So Crow with a double. And Reed Berry steps in. One for one. He let off the second with a base hit. Daly from the stretch for Lewistown. This is high. And it's a 1-0 count. Tanner Crow, as we said, with the one-out double. That's fouled straight back to the screen, so that evens the count at one and one. Right 
Well, they have scored three times in the first, added two in the second, and they're threatening with one out here in the third. Lewistown with their run in the top of the third. Two and one on settles. Check that on uh, Barry. Settles. Crow had the base hit. Jake Settles awaits on deck. That's a swing and a miss. And Daly evens the count against Barry at two and two. Daly delivers the 2 2, and that misses low. Pole count. Payoff delivered. That ball's hit into right field. That's going to drop. And they head home. And the throw is not going to be in time. And Barry stays put at first. So the base hit. And the RBI. As Tanner Crow scores. And that makes it 6-1. to one. It settles 0 for 1. Struck out in the second. Daly, one out, delivers, out straight back. And a no one count. Six, one, Farmington, and the throw over. Barry is back in safely. Did get past. Mikulich brewed not too far, not far enough that allowed Barry to advance. Daly from the stretch, brings it home, taken. The throw is down, and Barry is in safely with the stolen base. A strike. Daly sets. He'll bring it home. And this is high. Two and one. Bottom of the third. Farmington six. Lewistown one. We'll be back up here. We'll join our part one of our partners, WBYS when Canton visits on Friday. That is scooped up by Wise. He'll throw to first. They do get settles four to three, but Barry moves up to third base. So Farmington looking for another run. It's Dylan Hayden, he's one for one. He did come around to score. Last inning. This is high. So two zero count does get by the catcher and. Barry waltzes in for the second run of the inning, and the lead is now seven to one. So Farmington already getting back the run that Lewistown scored. Now add to that and lead this by six. It's seven to one. Aiden 
ahead in the count. 3-0 and against Daly. Not a called strike. Three and one. And that is taking ball four. Well, we swing back to the top of the order as at bat will be Dakota Traver. He's 0 for 2. Did reach, though, in the second. He grounded out the third to lead off the game back in uh, Farmington's half of the game, bottom of the first, and then reached on an air. So he is 0 for 2, and that is taking a ball, and it's 1 and 0. Farmington, as we said, leading it by six right now. It's seven to one. That bounces and Roberts able to keep it in front of him, but Aiden advancing on that. So now a base hit. Could potentially drive in an eighth run, third of this inning. Three and zero. Oh. Jacob Rashotsky do up next. He is one for two. That misses. Ball four. And Mike Trone is set to go out and chat with his infield. We'll keep it here. Seven to one, Armington with the six-run lead here in the bottom of the third. We do have a couple of on, a couple of runners on. <laughs> Dylan Hayden standing at second. Dakota Traver is at first as Jacob Rashotsky is at bat as Trone. Now heads back to the dugout. Base hit here. As we said, could drive in one. Depending on where it's at, it could drive in two. And for that matter, a home run would make it a 10-1 ball game. And that misses away. Oh, go check that. Called strike. Side, but Kent McDowell didn't agree with me. This is low. Count even at one and one. Mark Bixler on Bixler Video Productions. We're certainly glad to be with you. We do want to remind you, and we'll do that here in a moment. That ball's popped on the infield. And Trenton Chastine makes the catch, and that ends the inning. Shots count up to six if you're F6 if you're scoring with us. After three complete, as uh, Farmington gets two runs on two hits. And they leave a couple stranded. After three. Now Farmington 7, Lewistown 1. Helping underwrite this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. By Napa Automotive Parts of Canton, located on North 1st Avenue in Canton. By Innovations Design Academy, located on East Locust Street in Canton. 
by the voice of Fulton County, AM 1560 WBYS and 93.7 FM. By Oaks Hines Funeral Home with locations in Canton and in Elmwood. By Spoonerber Home Health, bridging the gap in health care. By Wesley United Methodist Church in Canton to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, contact us if you'd like a DVD of any of the games or events we've taped. Top of the fourth, it'll be eight, or excuse me, five, six, and seven. That's Daly, Burtis, and May. Burtis takes that. It's a 1-0 count as one for fourth inning of work as Dylan Hayden for Farmington. That is off the handle. Hayden on. It's the throw to first. Daily out one to three if you're scoring with us. So one away. Justin Burtis steps in now for the Indians. One down. One away. Curtis reached on a fielder's choice back in the second. So he is 0 for 1, that taking a strike, and he's down in the count 0 and 1. And that is a little flare out into left field. That will be a base hit. hit by Burtis and Jesse May steps in and that misses low. Good stop by Blake Matson, Not letting that get back to the backstop and it's a 1-0 count. Swing and a miss. Evens it up at a ball and a strike. is on the way and that's a swing and a miss and it's now one and two but quickly after being ahead one and oh may falls behind and that ball is going to be scooped up on the first they get the out Shotsky to Barry four to three on that Burtis moves up to second base Two outs and Taylor Trone steps in, the left fielder, and that misses outside. Trone grounded out to second. Back to end the second inning. This is away, 2 0. Oh. Well, they'd like to get out of this without giving up another run, and Farmington fan, you'd like to see them get a couple of runs this inning and a couple more shut Lewistown down and get a couple more, but if you're Lewistown, you want to Lewistown fan, you'd like to see this inning continue. In fact, you'd like to see Burtis come around to score. And Trone check to swing, and that is ball four. Well, that puts runners at well. Check the 
but it was not. It's a 3 2 count, okay. I missed one. I had it at. Apparently, he did not check his swing. And that made it a. 3 2 count, and then with returning to the plate, a strikeout victim. So that ends the. Inning. No runs on one hit. They leave one stranded. After three and a half. Seven to one. Farmington over Lewistown. Helping underwrite this event, Spooner Animal Clinic. Compassionate care when it's needed most. CD Country 107.9. Your home in the country. Sedgwick Funeral Homes with locations in Canton, Farmington, and Bartonville. Bank of Farmington with locations in Farmington and in Canton. By hy V, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main Street in Canton. By Remax Unlimited, Susie McMillan, your agent, are you looking to buy or sell? Contact Susie. By Wesley United Methodist Church in Canton to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions. For more information on underwriting, contact us. 22 Louis Ibera will be playing left field. Several changes as Taylor Trone. Pitching, Evan Daly moves to center field, and Jesse May moves to right field. Justin Burtis moves to first base. And Lansford takes a strike, is down in the count. And that means <laughs> Louis Ibera will be in for Ethan Mikulich. Prone delivers. And the count's one and two against Lansford. Seven to one. Farmington leading it by the six runs. That ball's hit into left field and unable to hang on to it. It's a foul ball, though. It's a new life. Still would be considered a E7 because it should have been caught. And an out recorded. <laughs> Misses high. That evens it up at two and two. That fouled straight back. Trey Swearingen, the shortstop, due to hit next. Two and two. Cooling off a little bit here. Crone delivers the two two, and that misses low. And the count now full. Room sets. He delivers the payoff, and that misses ball four. So the leadoff walk issued to Cade Lansford. 
And Trace Waringen steps in now. Bottom of the fourth, seven to one. Farmington with the six run lead. This is one of those that, and the throw over, and Lansford is back safely. Brings it home. Lansford off to second, and he will be in standing up. So he gets the stolen base. And Swearingen ahead in the count, 1 0. Oh. Swearingen is 1 for 2. Lansford is one for one, but he's reached all three times. He drew walks his last two at bats. Prone sets, takes it home. This is low. Two and oh. Nobody out. is on the way and that is a swing and a miss and the out count is now two and one one thing we started to say earlier we do want to encourage those watching our ball games whether it's on Canton public access tv farmington and public Ac uh, community access tv or on our youtube channel that is lifted out of play and evens it up at two and two, but that you let those businesses know that are helping underwrite our broadcast, know how much they are appreciated because without them, we would not be able to bring you the games that we do as Trone delivers and that ball is hit down the line, but foul. Seven to one, Farmington leading it. Nobody out, they do have a runner at second in Cade Lansford, so they are threatening. Pitch to... And all hands will be safe as Hardesty unable to come up with that cleanly. Five. And Blake Matson steps in. Well, nobody out. Runners on the corners, first and third. Swearingen is, is at first. Lansford is at third. This is high. times Farmington scored in the first they added two more in the second and the third Lewistown getting their run in the top of the third two and oh Swearingen delivers and that ball is lifted in two left field. They make the catch. Lansford scores. Swearingen retreats the first one out. F7. Matson is out. And that is the first out. Eight to one now. Goes from the 
stretch, and that misses high and away. 1 0 is a count. Reed Berry awaiting a check that. Nick Johnson apparently in replaced Settles. Or replaced Barry, not Settles. That is who is up next. That popped up. Hunter Y is giving chase, but gives way to Evan Daly. Rowe is out F8. So Jake, Jake Johnson. Is at bat now. And Caleb Gilstrap awaits on deck. That is a ground ball scooped up by the third baseman. They'll throw to first and they do get the out. And Johnson is out five to three. and adding a run on no hits. They do leave one left on the base. And after four, it's the Farmers eight, Lewistown one. Helping underwrite this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North Fifth Avenue in Canton. By Napa Automotive Parts of Canton, located on North First Avenue in Canton. By Innovations Design Academy, located on East Locust Street in Canton. By the voice of Fulton County, AM 1560 WBYS and 93.7 FM. By Oaks Hines Funeral Home, with locations in Canton and in Elmwood. By Spoonerber Home Health, bridging the gap in health care. By Wesley United Methodist Church in Canton to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, contact us if you'd like a DVD of any of the games or events we've taped. Back in Farmington, an 8 1 lead is at bat. It's Taylor Schubert. He will continue to DH. Down on the count, 0 and 1, but that pitch evens it up with that high. It's now 1 and 1. Top of the fifth. Mark Bixler with you and Bixler Video Productions as that is fouled back as Dylan Hayden delivers that, and it's a ball and two strikes. Hunter Wise awaiting on deck for the Indians. And he was unable to check his swing. Strike out. And there's one out. Wings, and that is a chopper, and he will reach. He, that was one of those that Tanner Crow passed in front of Swearingen, and I think he lost sight of the ball. It's been a close play. We're going to go ahead and give him the hit on that. One out, one on. Bryce Hardesy at bat. Swing and a miss. Top of the fifth. 
Eight to one, Farmington. Uh, back out of play, and it's an 0-2 count. Oop, that popped him. Artisty will reach. The first hit batsman of the game. So with one out, that puts runners at first and second. Eight to one, one out. That will drop. And everybody just advances one base. Chastain with the hit for Lewistown and that puts runners First, second, and third. And Hunter Roberts, he's 0 for 2. This is high. It's a 1 0 count. Dylan Hayden delivers. And a called strike caught the inside part of the plate. It evens it up at one and one. Slow roller. They get the force at home. Wise is out two unassisted. So two outs now. Bases are still loaded. Roberts reaches on the fielder's choice. So Farmington trying to get out of this without giving up a run after how Lewistown got the, loaded the bases with just one out. Evan Daly at bat. He is 0 for 2, and that's a ground ball picked up by the shortstop. Flips it back to the second base and got him. Arnsons throw a little wild, but Shotsky able to keep his foot on the base. Roberts out six to four. Well, they get out of it without giving a run. Farmington or Lewistown leaves three stranded. No runs on two hits. We head to the bottom of the fifth. It's still Farmington eight. Lewistown won. Helping underwrite this event, Spooner Animal Clinic, compassionate care when it's needed most. CD Country 107.9, your home in the country. Sedgwick Funeral Homes with locations in Canton, Farmington, and Bartonville. Bank of Farmington, with locations in Farmington and in Canton. By hy V, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main Street in Canton. By Remax Unlimited, Susie McMillan, your agent. Are you looking to buy or sell? Contact Susie. By Wesley United Methodist Church in Canton to know Christ and make him known and by M. Bixler Video Productions. For more information on underwriting, contact us. 
We hit the bottom of the fifth. 8-1 Farmington. Taylor Trone on for his second inning of work. After Evan Daly pitched three. Caleb Gilstrap at bat. He falls behind in the count 0-1. Sets, fires the 0-1. That's a swing and a miss. It's an 0-2 count now on Gilstrap. Gilstrap came in in the, I believe in the fourth to play left field. Prone sets, fires. That's lifted into center field, and that could be trouble. And it is as Daly... Unable to hang on to it. Had it in his glove, but it popped out when he hit the ground. So that'll go down in E8. Farmington threatened. Only able to get one run. That left it into left field. And Ibera there makes the catch. One away as Gilstrap retreats back to first. Hayden first pitch hitting. And we head to the top of the order. Dakota Traver at bat. He is 0 for 2. But he has reached twice, reached on a fielder's choice, and also walked. And a close play at first, but Gilstrap got caught leaning, but able to get back in time. Well, Gilstrap is off, and he will go in uncontested. Taking the ball, it's 1-0. and Take over Shotsky. Awaits. On deck. Prone. Again from the stretch. He'll bring it home. And that ball's hit up the middle. That will drop a base hit. Daly comes up firing. And he'll strap. Stays put at... third and Traver stays at first so runners on the corner Shotsky is one for three on the afternoon so Farmington threatening if they would be able to push three runs across that ball's hit into left field and that is going to drop for a base hit Well, they do get a run. Runners at first and second with one out. Nine to one. Well, if they do get a 10 run lead here from here on out, that would end it. Get it here in this inning, it would end it. And if Farmington that misses high, as Hanford takes that high, it's a 1 0 count. If they do get it, if, say they would get it to 10 to 1, and Lewistown would score a run, then they would have to score twice next inning. Wild straight back. And the count even at 1 and 1. One out. Runners at first and second, so they do have what could be potentially the runs that would put them at the 10-run mark are on the bases. Crone delivers, and that ball is hit out into left field, but a drift foul.
And it's a ball, two strikes. Trey Swearingen awaits on deck. Sets, fires home. Hit down foul, but along the third base side. And it stays one and two. A base hit here could make it ten to one, depending on where it's at. It could also make it Give them the 10 run lead. If they were to hit a gap or a lot of room in the gaps here. Both the left fielder and the right fielder leaning toward the line and Bailey playing straight up center field. 2-2, Trone sets, fires at home. This is in the dirt, and that gets past the catcher as both runners move up. Now, a base hit could end this one. Full count on Landsberg. Nine to one, Farmington. We're in the bottom of the fifth. Lifted out into right, uh, shallow infield, and that catch will be made by Burtis. Looked like it was gonna go a little farther than it did. So two outs now, F3, Lansford is out. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Trey Swearingen. Orange is one for three, reached twice. He had a base hit with a couple of RBIs back in the first and popped out on the infield to second base and then reached on an air at third base. Drone sets, delivers, misses high. It's a 1 0 count. In from the stretch, fires home. Called strike, and that evens it up at one and one. We'll come back and if this game ends after five, we'll come back and wrap it up quickly. That ball's hit into left field, and that is going to be caught. So they leave a couple stranded. Little Sibera makes that catch. Swearingen out F7 after scoring with us. One run on two hits. They leave two stranded. After five, it's Lewistown trailing Farmington 9 to 1. Helping underwrite this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. By Napa Automotive Parts of Canton, located on North 1st Avenue in Canton. By Innovations Design Academy, located on East Locust Street in Canton. By the voice of Fulton County, AM 1560 WBYS and 93.7 FM. By Oaks Hines Funeral Home, with locations in Canton and in Elmwood. By Spoonerver Home Health, bridging the gap in health care. By Wesley United Methodist Church in Canton, 
to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, contact us if you'd like a DVD of any of the games or events we've taped. Back in Farmington, a 9-1 lead for the Farmers over Lewistown. <laughs> Justin Burtis leading off as Dylan Hayden on for his sixth inning of work. Burtis ahead in the count, 2-0. and oh. Real count. Amen. There's that, and that is a hold strike. Three and one. And working quickly this inning, and that misses ball four. So a leadoff walk issued to. Curtis. Jesse May steps in now. He's playing right field after starting in center field. Well, Hayden appears to be struggling a little bit. He's only thrown one of the five pitches. Only one of them has been a strike. what game time temperature was, but we'll tell you what it was as that is fouled back. And it's now one and one. As currently we're at 67. Swing and a miss. May behind in the count now, one and two here in the top of the six. That hit to Swearingen. He'll scoop it up, throws to first, and doesn't get him. So the infield single puts him at first and second now as Taylor Trone will step in from the left side. Dylan Hayden sets, delivers. This is high. And the count is 1 and 0. Swing and a miss. That evens it up on Trone at 1 and 1. Well, Farmington would love to see a double play here, especially if they could get it. Third and second. Yep. Missed it inside. It's a 2 1 count. And then after I said that to her, Hayden sets from the stretch. He'll deliver it home and misses away. Three and one. Well, I've got to think Josh Utrich is We've got a nine to one lead, but that walk loads the bases. Showing a little more patience than I would and that is taken high. He's just really struggled here in this sixth. Got a called strike. Evens the count at one and one. The bases are loaded with nobody out. 
one in there, Taylor, and then I made her get up and was laying on She takes the blanket and just goes... Berta slid off with a walk. Jesse May got a base hit, and then Taylor Trone walked. So two of the three have walked. And the count's two and one on Schubert. Like that three and one. Well, if he walks this runner in, I would say for sure that Coach Putrich Putric will be making his way out. Out of strike. He would love to get a strike out here and then a double play, I'm sure. Dylan Hayden would, and that is a strikeout. Schubert caught looking. So one away. And that'll bring up Connor Wise. He's one for three. Had a base hit. Last inning. Well, he seems to have righted the ship at this point. has. That is a ground ball gets passed and there will be no play. Swearingen. <laughs> Drives in a run that keeps the bases loaded. And we're going to see a Pitching change as it looks like Reed Barry is going to come in. So with that, we will take a quick break. Okay. This town with a run. You're in the top of the sixth as they make this a seven run ball game now. It's Farmington nine, Lewis Town two. We'll be back with more of the sixth in just a moment. Helping underwrite this event, Spooniver Animal Clinic, compassionate care when it's needed most. CD Country 107.9, your home in the country. Sedgwick Funeral Homes with locations in Canton, Farmington, and Bartonville. Bank of Farmington with locations in Farmington and in Canton. By hy V, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main Street in Canton. By Remax Unlimited, Susie McMillan, your agent. Are you looking to buy or sell? Contact Susie. By Wesley United Methodist Church in Canton to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions. For more information on underwriting, contact us. Back in Farmington as Reed Berry re-enters the ball game as he'll replace Jake Johnson. Starters are allowed to re-enter one time. Trey Swearingen moves to first and Dylan Hayden now playing shortstop. It's nine to two now. The bases are loaded with one out and Reed Berry sets. He misses, and that comes all the way to the backstop as another run scores. As Maine scores on the wild pitch. Barry, he is wild low, not the most ideal place in Lake Matson. Having to work. <laughs> well, that is a 3-0 and count now on Hardesty. A walk here would load the bases again. But sometimes it just takes New pitches to get your new pitcher to get things <laughs> under control. That is a called strike. It's the outside corner, and it's a full count now. Barry would love to get a strike out here. 
That is fouled back. And the count remains four, three and two. Nine, three, Farmington with the lead. Just misses. That loads the bases. Trent Chastain at bat. Ah, a called strike. Still just one away. Two runs are in and the bases are loaded. And that is a little number foul off the foot of Chastain. Team taking his time. It's an 0-2 count. Barry sets, delivers. Out back. And it remains 0-2. Chastain doing a nice job staying alive. Still 0-2. Oh, Missed just outside. And it's 1-2. and two. That popped up and that will be out of play. So it will remain 1-2. and two. Well, Unless they can... Strike for four runs. I can shut them down here and then strike for four runs. We're going to go seven. That lifted. And that'll be a pop on the infield. Infield fly rule called. At four, Chastine is out. And there's two outs now. Barry sets. Livers. This is outside as Roberts gets ahead in the count, 1-0. That's a swing and a miss. So the count now even on Roberts at one and one. Roberts is 0 for three. 0 for two rather, he did reach. And was forced out and that ball's hit into right center field and there to make the catch. Lansford. And Roberts out F8. In this town out, but not before they strike for two runs. We head to the bottom of the six. It's now Farmington nine, Lewistown three. <laughs> Helping underwrite this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North Fifth Avenue in Canton. By Napa Automotive Parts of Canton, located on North First Avenue in Canton. By Innovations Design Academy, located on East Locust Street in Canton. By the voice of Fulton County, AM 1560 WBYS and 93.7 FM. By Oaks Hines Funeral Home, with locations in Canton and in Elmwood. By Spooner River Home Health, bridging the gap in health care. By Wesley United Methodist Church in Canton to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, contact us if you'd like a DVD of any of the games or events we've taped. Back in Farmington, Lewistown striking for two in the top half of the third. They now made this a six run ball game. It's nine to three, Farmington over Lewistown. 
in Farmington wants to end this here in the bottom of the sixth. They'll need to score four times. Anything's possible. It'll be five, six, and seven. Matson, Crow, and Barry in the dirt. A 1 0 count. Remember, they've scored scored three times in the first, so they are capable of stringing hits together. This is low, 2 and 0. Nine three Farmington over Lewistown. I'm Mark Mixler, I'm Mixler Video Productions. Trone pitching for his third inning of work and he misses. It's a 3-0 count. Just a reminder again that uh, we encourage those of you watching to make sure that you let those businesses know that underwrite our broadcast that you appreciate it. And that misses high. So Matson draws the walk. Let them know that you appreciate the fact that they are helping to underwrite, whether it's a business or an individual. Ethan Kenny will run, be the courtesy runner for Matson. And Tanner Crow now steps in. He is. Two for three. Flew out to center field in his last at bat. That misses outside and low. Trone delivers and that is fouled back as Kenny was off to the races. It's a one and one count. You called me. I always love to watch the coaches try to steal their signs when I was coaching. That gets in the dirt, and Kenny will head to third. Throws down, and that gets out into the outfield. And Kenny heads home, and the play at the plate is not in time. So it all started with a wild pitch. Or a pass ball. I think it was more of a wild pitch. It was outside. Two and one to count on Crow as Reed Berry awaits on deck for Farmington. Well, that narrows it down with nobody out. Now it's just three runs that are needed to for Farmington. It's just like starting the inning with it. 10 to 3. That is a foul off of Crow. And it's a 2 2 count. 10 3 Farmington over Lewistown. I'm Mark Bixler, I'm Bixler Video Productions. Glad to be with you. That's Farmington. Hoping to improve to 12 and 7. And struggled in that. It is a strikeout. Tanner Crow out. Strikeout, two unassisted. And Reed Berry steps in. Berry is two for three. Actually, he is two for two. Strike on the outside corner. It's an 0-1 count. 
Caleb Gilstrap awaits on deck for Farmington. One out, 10-3. This is away. And it's now even at one and one. Mark Bixler, I'm Bixler Video Productions. Glad to be with you on Canton Public Access TV and Farmington Community Access TV as Drone delivers and that is a cold strike and it's now a ball and two strikes. And also those of you who watch us on our YouTube channel, whether it's via YouTube or you clicked on to us on our M. Bixler Video Productions Illinois Plot page. Regardless, you're watching it through our YouTube channel. Drone sets to deliver the 2 2. That ball's hit into right center field, and that could be trouble. And will drop for a base hit as Connor Wise just out of his reach. And Caleb Gilstrap will be at the plate now for Farmington. Still just one out. Well, I would love to string together some hits right here. It's the bottom of the order. Drone from the stretch, brings it home. That ball hit into center field and Evan Daly will settle in and make the catch. So you'll strap out F8 if you're scoring with us and there's now two away. Well, it looks like we will go the full seven innings. Or go to the seventh. I've seen stranger things happen. Drone brings it home, and that ball's hit into right field, and the catch is made. As Jesse May makes that catch, and Hayden is out F to nine. F nine. Well, we've completed six. It's now Farmington 10. Lewistown three, back with a seventh in just a moment. Helping underwrite this event, Spooniver Animal Clinic, compassionate care when it's needed most. CD Country 107.9, your home in the country. Sedgwick Funeral Homes with locations in Canton, Farmington, and Bartonville. Bank of Farmington with locations in Farmington and in Canton. By hy V, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main Street in Canton. By Remax Unlimited, Susie McMillan, your agent. Are you looking to buy or sell? Contact Susie. By Wesley United Methodist Church in Canton to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions. For more information on underwriting, contact us. Top the seventh, Evan Daly leading off for Lewistown, and that is fouled back. 0 1 count. <laughs> that has popped up, and Trey Swearingen will settle in, making the catch in foul territory. Daily out F3 if you're scoring with us. One away, and that brings up Justin Burtis. <laughs> 
That ball's hit into uh, hit up the middle, but Dylan Hayden makes the catch. F6, two outs. And Jesse May is stepping in as Lewistown down to their final out. Round ball, scooped up by Crow on to first to Swearingen, five to three, and Lewistown goes out one, two, three in the top half of the seventh, and that ends this one. The final score, Farmington 10, Lewistown 3. We'll be back and we'll recap this one in just a moment. Helping underwrite this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. By Napa Automotive Parts of Canton, located on North 1st Avenue in Canton. By Innovations Design Academy, located on East Locust Street in Canton. By the voice of Fulton County, AM 1560 WBYS and 93.7 FM. By Oaks Hines Funeral Home, with locations in Canton and in Elmwood. By Spoonerver Home Health, bridging the gap in health care. By Wesley United Methodist Church in Canton, to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, contact us if you'd like a DVD of any of the games or events we've taped. And we welcome you back as Farmington winning this 10-3 over Lewistown as Lewistown drops to 3-12 overall. They're 2-2 two two in the Prairie Land Conference. Farmington improving to 12-7 and 5-0 and and in the Prairie Land. Farmington got off to the quick 3-0 lead after one. They added two more to go up 5-0 after two and got... Lewistown got a run in the top of the third, narrowing it to five to one, but Lewistown, or Farmington answered with a couple in the third, back up by six then at seven to one. They added one in the fourth and the fifth, and at that point led nine to one, but Lewistown getting a couple of runs in the sixth to make it nine to three, and Farmington added a run in the bottom of the sixth, and they end up winning it here this afternoon by a score of 10 to three. As we said, Lewistown falling now to three and 12, and two and two, three and 12 overall, two and two in the Prairie Land Conference. Farmington, they are now 12 and seven overall, and they remain unbeaten in the Prairie Land at five and zero. Oh. That's going to do it. Again, the final score, Lewistown falling to Farmington 10-3. For M. Bixler Video Productions, I'm Mark Bixler. Until next time, so long, everybody.